Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to cover a new series. So this series is going to be on Flutter and MongoDB. Um, it will be like a three to four video series. And in today's video, I am going to show how we can connect a MongoDB to our Flutter application, right? Because there are many applications like when we need to create, let's say Amazon or any Uber kind of thing, every app uses a database. So it's a critical component of our application. And so for this one, I, this project or this series, I'm taking up with MongoDB because it's a widely used um, database. So before jumping on, I want to show you guys um, the MongoDB, which I'm going to use. So this is MongoDB Atlas. It's basically database as a service. Um, you don't have to create a new database uh, or you don't have to run the database locally. Um, you just create a new project here and it gives you a new cluster address and using that address, you can connect your Flutter application um, to the MongoDB. So let's get started with it. So I make sure you have created an account. Now, once you have created an account, I will give this name as Flutter app project. Once this project is created, it will take some time. Okay. Now I'm going to build a database. Um, I'm going to use the shared free one. So it's going to create a cluster. I am going to select AWS and all the, all the other specifications you can use um pretty standard now we'll create a database user uh, why because this database user will have admin access so in this case i'll create a test user with password as test right um, and then create user so this user was created um it will take some time uh, would you like to connect um so my local environment add the entries okay i think it should be fine for now um we don't need anything else here we'll go here the cluster is being created in the meantime let's go ahead and add code changes so we'll need to use package uh, i'll use this package called mongo dart um let's go with the latest version here um so I'll copy this, go to our Okay, um, this is the file where we mention all of our dependencies. Uh, I am going to mention this one. Okay, and let's get this dependency. Okay, so it, we were able to import the dependency. Now what I need to do here is um, I'll create a bunch of new files, uh, which basically in will involve um, something like um, constant dot dot. So this file will have my default values and you guys will see in a minute. So I'm just going to create Mongo URL. So this URL will be stored here. So in order to access our Mongo cloud um, Atlas database, right? It will provide us with a URL and using that URL we can connect. So this is what I will specify here. And also I will create a collection. Um, let's say it should be um, collection name. So here I will be storing the collection name. So once our cluster is created, um, we guys can actually go ahead and access it. It takes some time in the meantime, we'll go ahead and add the code changes. Um, I'll also create a file called, um, it will be mongo db dot dot. So in this file, I'm just going to create a new class, um, which will basically take care of connecting my database. Um, to the application. So static connect async uh, where db is equal to await db dot create URL. Okay, so I think I need to import a bunch of things. Import 
this one and import this one okay once the import is done uh, i'll open the connection like it creates a dba client object using the mongo url right after that i open the connection uh, we can actually call inspect db which will print out a bunch of um, settings that we need um, i think we need to import it okay and let's say collection equal to db dot collection collection underscore name cool so this is the file where we actually um i think it's giving me an error create a local variable collection okay now it create basically it opens up a new connection um, using the mongo url that i pro provided it will open the connection it will show the database settings like whatever the cluster settings are and then we will call the um, collection on that for now in this video we are not going to do anything because this line is used when we want to save anything delete anything or update anything on our mongo database right um, for now it stays same um, in order to basically call this connect method because we want as soon as our app is initialized we want the connection also to be created with our mongo database so for that um, i'm going to call um, widgets uh, flutter binding dot ensure initialize and then here i will call my mongo data base dot connect oops sorry yeah i think i will need to import it once i import it um it's gonna work yeah. a same modifier cool so this is done um, now that this is done um, let's go ahead and see um, how we can connect this um, before connecting uh, we go here we need to allow everyone to access our uh, database that's not true because from for security perspective this is not what we want but um, we basically in for the demo purposes we want everyone to access it like it becomes it makes our work easy now you go here and then here they provide you with a url just click on this and then close this in the meantime you go to browse collections here we will actually create a collection add my own data we'll create a database name as test and let's create a collection name as users we'll create it okay now we paste the url in here so our collection name was users and then this one was this uh, we set set password as test right and here we need to set a database name also so i think this is done and dusted let me restart my app and once my app runs um, we should see um, some logs in our console because i'm doing uh, inspect db so that is going to print some of the connection settings obviously there won't be any ui changes as right now i'm not showing any ui changes uh, moving forward we can create a to-do application where um, we can create new to-do list uh, we can update and delete uh, items so it's a, it would be a very good exercise to see how we can connect um, flutter application to mongodb but in this video uh, we are only targeting the connection part give it a minute and let's go ahead and add something else also status as db dot server status and then i will do a print on status okay why it's giving me an error let's see
so I am going to print um, to see to confirm that we get no errors here it should yeah so we see an empty array that means uh, we were able to successfully connect and um, we didn't get any um, thing because our database is currently empty right our collection is currently empty but as soon as we insert something um, we will see um, um, a data more data uh, logged onto our console um, so hope you guys like this video um, please um, subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for other updates on this series thanks everyone